Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dinesh D'Souza just posted a brutal Soros interview on the Holocaust. Liberal financier George Soros is one of the most controversial political figures in the world. Much is made of the fact that Soros, whose dollars help fund many left-wing foundations from Media Matters for America to Planned Parenthood, survived the Nazi occupation of his native Hungary even though, as an individual of Jewish background, he was potentially subject to the atrocities of the Holocaust. Much is also made of Soros' conduct during World War II, however, in which he admits to having helped his protector seize Jewish property. One time that he spoke on the subject was during an interview with 60 Minutes journalist Steve Croft. In it, he was asked about that experience. That interview resurfaced this past week after conservative commentator Dinesh D'Souza retweeted a video of its most damning part. In the interview, Soros explained how he was 14 years old when he managed to evade the Nazis. And I would say that that's when my character was made, that one should think ahead. One should understand that, and anticipate events and when, when one is threatened. It was a tremendous threat of evil. I mean, it was a, a very personal experience of evil. However, Croft wanted to question him about what he did with the man who convinced authorities Soros was his godson. My understanding is that you went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were his adopted godson, Croft said. Yes, yes, Soros answered. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property from the Jews, Croft continued. That's right. Yes, Soros responded. I mean, that sounds like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for many, many years. Was it difficult? Croft asked. Not, not at all. Not at all, a smiling Soros said. He was then asked if there were any feelings of guilt. No, Soros responded. Dinesh D'Souza, in his tweet, got to the heart of the issue perfectly. The issue isn't what Soros did with the Nazis when he was 14. It is his complete absence of remorse for it as an adult, the conservative commentator wrote. There is something about a man who refuses, in any way, to appropriately deal with the past. This is an event which, no matter what the circumstances, should compel some guilt on the part of those who experience them, or at least reflection. Not smiling. I may not have experienced these things, but I've seen enough interviews with those who have to know what the normal range of human experience is. This lies outside of it, and it bears watching if just because of the insights it provides into Soros' personality. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.